Hi everyone and welcome. I'm hoping you're excited about this mixed media journey we're going to take. Holiday bags and tags. Now this section we are going to look at inspiration. I was trying to figure out what I'm going to do with these bags and tags that I want to create. And I just wanted to show you, I started pulling out all kinds of things from my stash. So let's just go through it together. And when you're done with this section, when you're done watching this section, go ahead and start pulling out all of the different items that you may have in your stash. Of course, your things are going to be different, but the concept is the same. You just go through all of your goodies. Now, I started going through my um, Christmas decorations because uh, I have totes that I put out and decorate with. So that's where I started. And then I started going through calendars. And you'll see here as we get going. So right off the bat, I went through my calendars. And I saved my calendars from year to year because they have such great images and great ideas. Now, this is going to be something that I thought would be perfect for lettering on our bags and possibly on our tags. I can shrink this down and I can practice my lettering. And this might be something that I may use. So this was just a calendar and definitely save those from year to year. Again, here is another calendar. And look at this great cardinal. Cardinals are so popular around the holidays and throughout the winter months. I thought this would be really, really great for inspiration. And I love how it has the snowflakes over the top. So I'm keeping this out for inspiration. I just grabbed a big tray and I piled it full. So um, we'll go through these and I'll try and do it quickly. Here is a Christmas ornament that was in my stash. And I thought that is going to be really, really neat hanging off one of my finished bags. So you'll probably see that in the future. You can see how glittery it is. And I love dragonflies. I'm sure you all know that. This was in my stash, and this was from Goodwill, $1.49, and it's all Christmas music. So won't this be great for creating some of those collage backgrounds on our holiday bags and tags? Super, super fun. I also grabbed out a couple of pieces of rice paper, and as you can see here, I was inspired by the clocks because... Um, at Christmas time, you're thinking about the year is almost over and things like that. I thought this might be something that we would use. And again, of course, I'm not going to use all of this, but I wanted to show you my um, take on all of the stash so that we could get started pulling all of our things together for our holiday bags and tags. Here is another piece of um, rice paper and I loved all of the hand lettering on there it has great fonts down here it has some uh, great checked pattern and these two were by Stamparia this was something in my stash again and the, the um, brick reminded me of chimneys maybe you know Santa could be um, in front of the chimney or something of that nature. This is by Dress My Craft by Transfer Me. And they are really, really fun to work with. So again, I set that aside. I started digging through my stickers. And I don't have a lot of stickers, but I did find this holiday sheet. These are gonna be great on those tags. So I'm sure you'll see that in the future. Um, in my sticker bin, I also had these really, really great metal letters. And if you can see those, look at how neat those are. I'm sure that I can look through those and find some great uh, sentiments that I can put on my bags and tags. Again, in the stickers section, I had all of these little bits of rain gear. I had... Had more Christmas ephemera. Here's um, Christmas 
sentiments by Tim Holtz. Some of them have gold trim and writing on them. So I dug those out. Here's some clear ones too. Stuff that I haven't used in many, many moons. So I'm going to use those. These have been in my stash, I am sure, for years. But if you can see when I tilt it, these stickers are obviously letters of the alphabet. And they have this really, really great um, woven texture on them. They're almost like made out of fabric. And they're green and red. So right there, grabbed those out. Chipboard. I have chipboard embellishments that I have not used. A whole double-sided set here. And they are green and red and white. Big hearts. All kinds of things like that. Isn't this going to be fun? We're using all of the things that we have in our stash. Now, of course, we're always going to be thinking about pattern paper. Now, I am not one that has a lot of pattern paper. So, I just went through my regular pattern paper that I had. And I found these three sheets. They're by Tim Holtz, I am sure. And I just was drawn to them because of the green, the gold, and the red. So right there. Double-sided. I have some ideas. I think these are going to work perfectly. More pattern paper. And this is a a uh, pattern paper pad that was given to me by my sister and it is Christmas decorations. Um, I don't know if I'll be using them, but this is what really got me excited. Look at all these sentiments. Perfect. Dig that pattern paper out and take a look. Okay, this is something that I've had in my stash for a very, very long time. And it is called Glimmer Screens Vintage Ice. It's a misting tool. And it has icicles and snowflakes. Now, I'm probably going to Google this and see if there's any creative ideas. But this, like I said, has been in my stash for years, and I have never used it. So I'm super excited to try that. I have these great big, huge mask and stencils from Dina Wakely, and they're the whole alphabet. So it's going to give us lots and lots of ideas for putting out our holiday greetings on our bags and tags. So I'm going to be using those. Um, a few years back, because we've all been dealing with this pandemic, I was doing uh, hands-on workshops, and we used a lot of we used a lot of snowflakes. Well, when I was cutting them out for my workshops, I saved the positive portions of my cutouts because I thought these would be great sprayed through to use as a stencil. So those were sitting in my goodies. Thought that would be something. I dug through my stencils. I am a big stencil person and I will show you what I have. I have a lot of Sean Petit stencils because um, I was on her design team. Perfect holiday truck poinsettias and leaves. We've got pine cones and the evergreen bough. That'd be great. Deer. Deer trio. Perfect for holiday bags and tags. This one is um, called spring wreath, but I can see it filled up with different uh, things as a winter wreath. So that may be an option. I have Tis the Season by Sean Petit again, and it's got great sentiments. Merry and bright, happy holidays, Tis the Season, Merry Christmas. All of these are going to work. Then I have Christmas Berries and Evergreen. Check these out. How perfect are they going to be? We're going to put some texture paste through there. We're going to color them. 
give those bags and tags some really great dimension. Everyone loves angels at Christmas time, and I've not even opened this. This is called Angel Wings. It's got two sets of wings. Let's try something with that. And I'm thinking texture paste and maybe some bright glitter, something really sparkly. I grabbed out a set of um, letters, the alphabet, and it's in two different sizes, smaller and bigger. And this one is called Rustic Large Stencil. I grabbed out some trees, Christmas trees. I think these will be great used with those deer, perhaps. A little background word stencil. Great for adding texture. We're going to use those. This, when I was looking at it, if you can see it, I'll hold it up. It's just stripes, but it reminded me of candy canes. How perfect. Here's one of dots. How about snow? This one here has music notes. Another great one. This one's by Stamperia. I just have all kinds of bits and bobs on this tray here. So again, I'm just going to quickly go through some of these things. These images were just given to me. It's got some great texture, some different things in there. And the red and the green were calling to me. So I pulled them out. Not sure where I got these, but they're just metal embellishments. This one says joy, believe, and peace. Now, if we sprayed our background, this is going to resist, and those might be some cool options. As I was looking through all of my things, I just got more and more excited to make these holiday bags and tags. Here's part of a Christmas card that I got last year. And it's got the little gingerbread on there and the recipe for gingerbread cookies. Adorable. Cut that out and it's going to be a great, great uh, piece of ephemera. Here's a whole bunch of different letters. We can uh, spell out some different things with these. Put them on the pile. These were all cut out from something I was making, obviously, and it's pretty thick cardstock. These will make really great tags. I also grabbed out a tag pad, a paper pad that has all of these great tags in there. Our tags are already made for us. We just got to decorate them. We are going to be so ready for Christmas. Um, napkins. You know I like working with napkins, so I went through my Christmas napkins grabbed out all of these fun ones and you will see those in our workshop green and red sequins how perfect just these black um little embellishments they were in the drawer i thought maybe i've got white ones that reminded me of little snowballs that might be cute and i had these they really look fancy and Christmassy. It reminded me of winter cold and um, blowing snow. Maybe I could have a, a cloud blowing the winter cold. That, that's what I was thinking of. I don't know. In this bag that was down in my basement, I had these pieces cut out. Does this not say... Uh, Santa's beard to you? It's fur. It's fake fur. So, yeah, I have a whole bunch of those cut out. I don't know why. I was using them for something. Little bells. That's going to be perfect. I've got some stars. I've got two kinds of metallic wax. These are by Art Alchemy by... Um, Finnebar, I've got the silver and the bronze. Those are going to be great finishing touches. I went through my washi tape, and here are the kinds I came up with. This says Believe, Hope, Dream. I've got shiny gold and shiny silver. 
I've got Santa's belt and just a white polka dot on red. Made me think of Christmas. These scraps I dug out of my Christmas decorations and you can see that they're just pieces of trim for decorating our Christmas trees. I've also got some silver uh, bendable wire here. It's going to be perfect. Some green bendable wire and it's got that same green color as the dragonfly. So how neat is that going to be? I had this silver frame. Not sure where it came from, but it's all sticky backed. It's ready to go. I found some little Christmas trees in my ephemeral box. So look through that. Different size of jingle bells in gold. So we have silver and gold. I have some tags that were already started, but who knows? We'll make them into something. And then finally, last but not least, just some little gold sequin dots that are going to be perfect for on these holiday bags and tags. So look at all of these things. So first assignment is to go through your stash. Get inspired. Grab a tray and pile it full. And I'm going to be right back and show you what we're going to use to get started on our first holiday bag and tag. I hope you enjoy and have fun with this first project of getting your inspiration together. Have a great time.